I am submitting this review of Cord Jefferson's American Fiction on the very day of the announcement of the nominees for the 96th Academy Awards, wherein Jefferson's film has picked up five nominations, including one for Best Picture, and it is definitely earned. Stepping into the film, I was skeptical, fearing that it might come off as a pandering right by the Academy to stem the tide of Oscar so white. The efforts of inclusion can sometimes be a lumbering step backwards. Thankfully, that's not the case here. American Fiction is a very funny satirical comedy that stars Jeffrey Wright as Thelonious Ellis, or Monk, a college professor who's been struggling as a writer for years, publishing books that no one reads, theoretically because no one cares about his material. He doesn't believe in race and refuses to let it poison his work, yet he is forced to watch other black writers around him pander and shovel out successful books that portray the black experience filtered through white fantasies of a casual landscape of guns, drugs, sex, and swagger and urban decay laced with the protracted, broken dialect of the hood that is a fantasy all its own. Out of frustration, Monk writes one of those books as a joke, an empty-headed piece of dreck called Fuck under the pen name of a fictional wanted fugitive named Stag R. Lee. I love that. To his astonishment, the book becomes a runaway success. White publishers can't wait to turn it into a movie just as white readers turn it into a bestseller. But the movie wouldn't be special if it were only about that plot gimmick. The other half of the movie deals with Monk's sticky family relations. Returning to a family that he has largely ignored opens the door to a lot of prickly and difficult relations. There's a lot of fence mending to be done. His sister has just died, his brother Clifford is bitter and distant, and he has to deal practically alone with his mother who is suffering the early stages of Alzheimer's. In that, the massive piles of money promised by the work of Stag R. Lee would come in handy. What surprised me about American fiction is how well Cord Jefferson, who adapted his script from Percival Everett's 2001 book Erasure, balances the gimmicky plot involving Stag R. Lee and the real plight of Monk, whose soul lies between selling out the persistent fiction that resides between an artist who wants to express what is in his very soul, and the pandering of turning his art into a commodity just to get noticed and to get the bills paid. This is a wonderful movie, both as a comedy and a social commentary. It earns its message. And it earns its five nominations that also include a Best Actor nod for Jeffrey Wright, a Best Supporting Actor nod for Sterling K. Brown as Monk's brother, and nods for the score and for Jefferson's screenplay. If it wins anything, I'd be happy to see it go to this screenplay, which finds a family dynamic balanced with the ridiculousness of the satire. I like this movie a lot. I'm Jerry Dean Roberts, and I'll see you next time.